The new version of the Launchpad app features audio bus support. This means you can use the Launchpad app as an input for audio bus. You can use audio bus to add effects and record the output of the Launchpad app using other audio bus compatible apps. To use your Launchpad app with audio bus, you need to update your app to the latest version available in the App Store and also purchase audio bus from the App Store. Audio bus is a third party paid for app. And if you require support for audio bus itself, you should contact the app developers. Download the free Focusrite tape app from the App Store so you can record the output of Launchpad app. If you need to take time to download and update the apps, please pause the video now. Once both apps are installed and up to date, launch AudioBus on your iPad. This is a main screen for AudioBus, and it allows us to choose which apps we want to use as inputs, effects, and outputs within AudioBus. By pressing the plus symbol above the input label in AudioBus, we're able to select which of the AudioBus compatible apps we want to open as inputs. The Launchpad app is available here. It is only possible to use the Launchpad as an input in AudioBus. It cannot be used as an effect or as an output. If we select Novation Launchpad as our input app here, we then get the option to launch the app from AudioBus itself. Now we can see the Launchpad app is selected as an input in AudioBus. If we press the Launchpad app icon in AudioBus, we will then be taken to the Launchpad app screen. The widget on the left of this page is the AudioBus widget, and it allows us to navigate between our different apps using AudioBus. If the AudioBus widget is in the way at all, we can slide it off the screen and slide it back on. Now, press Home and open a session in the Launchpad app. If we press the AudioBus button on the widget, we can use this button to switch back to the AudioBus app. Currently, we have the Launchpad app set as our input, but we have no effects or output set. If we play in the Launchpad app at the moment, AudioBus will not do anything with the audio. The Effects section in AudioBus allows you to use compatible apps to add effects to your input. This is covered in other AudioBus specific tutorials you can find online. We can use the output section of AudioBus to record the output of Launchpad app into another AudioBus compatible app. In this case, we're going to use Tape by Focusrite. We now have AudioBus set up to take input from our Launchpad app and output the audio into the Tape app where we can record it. In Tape, check that the input is set to Launchpad main app output here. Ensure that the stereo button is not pressed in and we want to turn on the monitoring function so we can hear what we're playing in the Launchpad app. Now we're ready to record into tape. Press the record button and tape will start recording. Let's use AudioBus widget to go back to the Launchpad app. Now we can play the Launchpad app and it'll be recorded into tape. Once you've finished playing your track in the Launchpad app, use the AudioBus widget to switch back to the Tape app. Now press Stop in Tape to stop the recording. We can use the Trim functions in Tape to trim any silence recorded at the start or end of our recording. Remember, if the AudioBus widget is in the way at all, we can slide it off the screen and slide it back on. Once the trim markers are set, press Outside the Trim section to go back to the main tape page. Now we've recorded our song from Launchpad app into another app using AudioBus. Of course, you can experiment using other apps as effects or outputs in AudioBus to get a wider variety of sounds. There you have AudioBus support with Launchpad app. Thanks for watching.